So coming live from the hottest place in Liverpool, it's about 30 degrees, no one, and I'm wearing grey. So you might see me sweating a little bit today, but again, we don't know how to handle this weather, so it's just one of them things. But in today's video, I want to speak about the formula that allows our clients to drop between four and ten pound per month without sacrificing their social life and again this is a big thing because a lot of the time people think that they have to give up everything in order to get the results that they want i.e lose body fat i.e get in the best shape of their life but why would we want to cut out the thing that we find the most enjoyment from so let's let's zoom out massively even from like a western society you know in the west we socialize our weekends are weekends we have weekdays and weekends weekdays for working weekends for not working and for socializing and for chilling that's on like a huge spectrum for the majority of the world especially in the western side so if that is so big for so many people why do we have to be so rigid to get to the results that we want and we don't and this is again i'm going to walk you through the four things four things that we do with our clients to allow that you know they can still go through each weekend socialize do things that they want but ultimately get to the goals that they want to achieve so number one always starts with planning planning is nice and simple understanding what you've got ahead of you you know every single week with our client check-ins that we do on a monday i ask the question is there anything that we need to plan for any events any meals out any parties any holidays anything at all that you can think of in the next week or two that we can sort of forward think towards that's number one and that's just setting the intention with it if you've got intention nine times out of ten you're going to be able to manage it a lot more but what we found is is that a lot of people go into like a social event, let's just say a meal out on the weekend and they wing it. They don't have no plan. They don't know what to choose on the menu. They go in there and do their normal thing of, you know, I'll have a starter main dessert, uh, I'll have beer, I'll drink this and then I'll go out and then I'll have blah, blah, blah. The standard stuff. Whereas if you have some sort of plan where that might be, I'm going to look at the menu beforehand and have a look what the options are. Maybe even browse the calories on the menu if they do have them. What's going to be a better option? Even if you see this meal is going to probably be about 1500 calories, which it probably is. How can you manage that? And there's a couple of ways that we can do that. But that just comes down to planning and having intention first and foremost. So number two is banking ahead of time. So what banking calories basically is, is think about it from a monetary perspective. If you've got 2000 calories to spend or 2000 pounds to spend, You've got a budget throughout the week. So that might be, I've got X amount per day, basically. So what you're doing to allow more money to be spent at the weekend, more calories, is to take some money from other days or calories from other days. So how that basically is, is if you're on 14,000 calories for the week, which is 2,000 calories a day, you might drop to 800 calories a day for five days a week. And what that will allow you to give you is an extra 1,000 calories for the Saturday and the Sunday. So you might have two and a half on a Saturday or two and a half on a Sunday as well. But the calories remain exactly the same equated throughout the week. So planning ahead and then banking calories is a big one when it comes to making sure you're staying on track. And as I said, if you mix these two together, so you plan, you browse the menu, you see roughly how many calories that's gonna take you, how many drinks you wanna have, do you gonna have dessert, are you gonna have a starter, what's it gonna look like? You can go, okay, I know that meal is going to be 1,500 calories. How can I save maybe 1,000 going into it? And then the rest of the day, I can plan around, which is our next one. So number three is buffering. And what I mean by buffering is specifically on the day of the event. A lot of the time, events only last for a couple of hours, whether that's a breakfast, lunch, or evening time, whether it's a party, a meal out, uh, drinks with friends, whatever. It's never a 14-hour session. It's always going to be like part of the day. So a lot of people write off the whole day because they think that they've got these events on, you can't really manage it. Bullshit, like you can. It's only a couple of hours at a time, but it's about how you do that. So number one, you plan it. Number two, you bank for it. So you plan and you work towards it and you understand what you're doing and you've got intention towards it. And number three is you buffer for it. So for example, if your meal out in the evening is at 7 p.m., you've got the rest of the day to do things, whether that's maybe fasting with your nutrition, it might be a light lunch or a light breakfast. It might be, you might miss one of them things. You might miss breakfast and fast a little bit longer. Or you might miss lunch and just jump straight to tea. And that might leave you with a little bit more calories for that specific day. So that combined with how many calories you've banked throughout the week should leave you with a pretty a good amount of calories that you can go into that event with, that you've planned for, that you've thought about, that you've got choices for. And then you'll be absolutely fine coming out the back of it. 
So, as I said, if you put all these things together, you're going to get the best results possible. Or vice versa, if you're going out for breakfast with a friend, which is, I prefer breakfast over dinner, or any day of the week, a breakfast date, if I know my breakfast is going to be a 1,000 calories, that means that my lunch and dinner is going to be smaller. So it's just about having that plan and working around that. And again, if you're going out for breakfast, as an example, don't go for full English. Don't go for the stupidly high-calorie things, which you know I've got high calories in. Go for egg and bacon on toast. Go for the porridge, go for the granola bowl, go for avocado on toast, whatever your your thing is, eggs benedict. You know that it's going to be 800 calories as opposed to 1,200 calories. That alone is going to help you with the rest of the day and for you to get through the weekend. So that's, that is number four. That is choices. Making sure your choices are in line with what you're doing. And again, it pans back round to what I said about number one, which is planning an intention like you have to have intention if you have intention about i want to go into this weekend and i want to get through it and i want to make sure that i'm still dropping body fat but i want to enjoy myself but then all of a sudden you go out and you have a three course indian 10 pints a kebab on the way home it, that's not the right intention to have you just have not thought about what you want to do you've just went ah fuck it whereas you don't want that. You want to be able to plan for it so you can still go and have that Indian. Just don't have loads of st sides and starters. Just have a main main meal and maybe share a couple of sides between you. Maybe not have 10 pints. Maybe have a couple of gin and tonics or a couple of bottles. You know, don't have that kebab on the way home. Make sure that you've, you've trained on that day or you've been for a walk or you've ticked other uh, things off throughout your, your to-do list. These are the things that we really want to think about. And again, it sounds really simple, but it comes down to having the intention having a plan, then working towards that plan in the longer term, i.e. maybe seven days out or 14 days out, or the short term, which might be the same day. And I guarantee if you apply them four tips into your next um, weekend or your next event or your next eating out, I guarantee you'll get through a lot better than before.